Do you think coffee is not working for you anymore? Coffee is coffee. Coffee is coffee. Coffee is coffee. Do you think coffee is not working for you anymore? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to hack your coffee and make it work like magic again. Now, coffee is one of the most popular beverages in the world and it should be, right? Because it's totally awesome and gives most of us all the energy we need to take on almost everything that is thrown through us through the day. Now, did you know that the average coffee consumption in the world was about 400 million cups per year? Here's the thing, coffee doesn't only satisfy your taste buds but also satisfies your health buds. That isn't a term, I just made that up. So how is coffee healthy? A recent meta-analysis of 127 studies from the University of Catalina shows us that coffee consumption have a lot of health benefits such as it reduces the risk of cancer by 20%, heart diseases by 5%, type 2 diabetes by 30%, and Parkinson's disease by 30%. Those are big numbers and they matter because those diseases are on the top four killers in the world. Coffee has also got a lot of antioxidants. These are hydrocinamic acid and polyphenols that neutralize free radical damage, repair and support DNA function. So coffee does have a great side to it. Our bodies naturally try to wake up with the cycles of the sun. This movement is also known as the circadian rhythm or the body clock, which also controls a lot of different body functions such as our hormones, sleep, memory, behavior, and others. Now, when you look all around you, nearly all life on earth is linked to the movement of the sun. And in humans, this is called as a circadian timing system. Our body has its own way to be awake and alert for most of the time. And this happens when you first wake up in the morning and continues throughout the rest of the day. Our bodies do this by producing a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is also known as a stress or the fight or flight hormone. When released, it also gives us a lot of energy. However, when we grab our favorite coffee and consume it through the day, it tells our body that there's enough mental and physical energy present. So the body doesn't really have to make cortisol. And this behavior leads to the disruption of the cortisol cycle, which results in poor energy throughout every day and can cause issues like sleep and various other health problems. To enhance the effect of coffee, we have to look into how our bodies respond to cortisol. This is also known as a cortisol rhythm. Here's how it goes. As soon as you wake up in the morning, cortisol increases by 50%. So in my opinion, it is a bad idea to have coffee as soon as you wake up because your body is gonna give you the natural energy to get through the rest of the day. Cortisol starts rising at 6 a.m. and reaches its peak around 9.30 to 10 a.m. and then it starts dropping. There is another spike during the day that comes between 12 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. So all of these are a bad time to have coffee. The reality is when most of us have coffee is when you get out of bed, when we're driving to work or after lunch. This increases our dependence on caffeine for energy. Moreover, I do not recommend having any caffeinated beverages after 3 p.m. as this could result in a phase delay effect on the circadian clock which downregulates an important hormone called melatonin. Melatonin is a powerful hormone which makes us sleepy and acts as a powerful antioxidant to repair and regenerate cells and tissues while we're sleeping. Therefore, please do not have your coffee after 3 p.m. That being said, it's not only going to affect your sleep, but also your cognition, motor reaction time, memory, and much more. For the average person, caffeine has a half-life of six hours, which means when it's metabolized in the liver, it could take up to six hours for half of that caffeine to get out of your system. 
Here's your strategy for hacking optimal caffeine timing, which doesn't destroy your hormones or biological clock. Now, I would request you from abstraining, from drinking any kind of caffeinated beverages first thing in the morning. In the beginning, you may have to substitute that with a decaf coffee just to um, assist your behavior. Then, consume your first caffeinated beverages between 9.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. This is when cortisol is at its lowest and you will feel the coffee much stronger or you will get more of the buzz from coffee. Now, consume your second cup at 1.45 p.m. and your last cup should be no longer than 3 p.m. That being said, this is the best strategy on how to optimize caffeine for performance, for mental cognition, or just to rock it at a day at work.